good morning in the previous session we completed the pre processing classification clustering methods and then now we are going to talking about the association rule mining what is the association rule mining association rule mining finds the interesting association and relationship among the large set of data items it identifying the relationship between the transactional data item here this rule shows how frequent items occur in a particular transaction here in this uh, typical example is a mar market basket analysis in the market basket analysis if you go to the supermarket you will find the onions potato and then bread and milk like that you have to analyze the those things what are the things here if you uh, buy an item bread um, together with the bread and milk that means together you will buy the item that's come here mass market basket analysis here the association rule mining steps the first step here is the uh, finding the frequent items the item is said to be frequent item in the sense it which occurs frequently by using that means by satisfying the minimum support count that's called here frequent item for a frequent item generation you will use a operator algorithm and then generate the strong association rule the association rule based on a confidence value it satisfy the minimum confidence value that's called here the association rule always in the form a implies b a implies b format and then a priori algorithm used to find the an association and create say association rule here this is a a priori algorithm this algorithm used to identify the frequent item set as well as the association rule here weka provides the implementation of a priori algorithm here you have a Uh, some of the different steps different steps for uh, implementing the operator algorithm in a vecca first open the explorer load the data and then click on the associate tab select the operator algorithm and then start these are all steps here if you comes to the the sample output appears like this here go to the explorer tab go to the vecca gui click here uh, identify the applications that means in the first class we discussed these things click on explorer if you click on explorer the vecca explorer appears like this here pre that means activate the pre processor tab remaining tabs so classify tabs clustering tab associate tab all in disable mode then selecting a already that means already one data set that particular data set i am selecting the one particular data set from the i selected a one data set the data set appears like this this is a data set in this data set you will identify the transaction id t1 t2 t3 and so on t9 and then the item list all are nominal attributes t1 t2 uh, that means item list item i1 i2 i3 and then i1 i2 like that the data set appears like this that means i am taking this data set that means how can you perform in the in the explorer this is a explorer that means here you will identify the each and every attribute here number of instances that means number of rows 9 and then attributes 2 and then if you comes to the the attributes if you select the transaction id and then if you select the item list these are all different attributes as well as the visualization and then next click on associate tab here if you click on the associate tab here you will identify the different association algorithm one is apply a priori algorithm fe growth algorithm filtered associator that means you you, you required a priori algorithm click on a priori algorithm and then click on start then it will generates the different things that that means at the scheme the relation is a priori and then instances that means number of rows 9 and then attributes to item set to transaction id and then item list are the two attributes 
here you will generating the different association rules the association rules appear that means a implies b coming to the uh, these association rules are in the form like this a implies b that means i1 comma i2 implies i5 that means what is the confidence value that means if you want to know about the confidence value you go to the previously i explained about the theoretical concept regarding the association that means if you see the association then you will identify the association meaning here these are all different different association rules that means from these best rules here these are all a implies b format and then their corresponding you identify the confidence value also this is a um, applying the association rule thank you